Those mobile apps are a game changer, making Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday largely irrelevant. By the way, one way to avoid those fake sites is to only download those apps from the retailer's website, not from an app store. Tony. You know, Don, I see you're on uh, two feet, no bandages apparent. Uh, there's been chaos and fights in the past on Black Friday, but was it more calm this year or were there incidents here and there? It was amazingly more calm. I mean, we were at a major mall this morning for much of the morning and, and uh, it was like any other weekday. And, and I think what has happened here is, is when you think about it, you know, Black Friday was designed in order to attract people to the malls, to the stores on the day after Thanksgiving to launch the holiday shopping period. That has changed now, but also Cyber Monday was started because people would do their online shopping because the, the internet was more powerful at their place of work. Well, that's no longer the case. We walk around basically with the internet in our pocket now with these, with these smartphones, so you can shop anytime. And these major retailers have really figured that out and they're taking advantage of that. You know, and the LA Times is reporting that there are fewer people out on the streets for Black Friday this year. Does that spell long-term decline for the institution itself? Actually, it doesn't. What's really interesting is that the numbers are way up for shopping. It's just people aren't shopping in the brick and mortar stores today. There's still some people going there. And what's really interesting is that the people who are going to the brick and mortar stores, a lot of them are still using these apps. They'll go in with the app, they'll look at whatever it is they're interested in, they'll see that they like it in person, and then they'll go on the app and they'll see can they get a better price elsewhere? And what's happening in these stores a lot of times is the salesperson will say, well, you might have found that for that price, but we can match it if you get that here in the store. So it's really a win-win. The stores, the, the, the sales figures are still way up. They're doing really well this year, but these apps have changed the game entirely. Well, let me, let me make sure I have this correct. So people have the internet in their pocket. They have apps on there. They don't have to go to the store, but they're going anyway and bringing the phone as a kind of digital assistant to help them price compare? That's exactly right. And fewer people are going to the stores. A lot of people are, go are, are just shopping online or they're shopping with their smartphone or their tablet. But a lot of the people who are going to the stores are going with this shopping assistant in their hand. They're able to find the deals. They're also able to compare between stores, not just within that one company, and say, hey, you know, I can get it over here at X and you're selling it for Y. You know, try to do something if you want to get this deal. Um, and right, a lot a of times bargain. also, they're just simply going to see it. So it's, it's a great bargain. It, I mean, it's really helping the shoppers. All right, Don Daler, I hope you were able to find some deals yourself out there. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, well, always. Thanks a lot, Tony. See Take you. Care.